If you enjoy playing with pikemen or with fast cavalry, then Anteada is ideal for you. I'm Eronar and in this video we will review full roster of this new faction, so we know what to expect. Let's waste no time, we are starting right away. Anteada is led by Protesilaos, who is the fastest hero in the game. He is strong against infantry and non-duelist heroes and you will love to use his turbo and stamina abilities for your units. Now let's have a look at what we have in the roster. We have militia, standard fodder that you already know. Then we have our good chargers that I always recommend. And standard frontline that I never recommend. Let me show you the very first pikeman unit in the game. With phalanx formation they are slower and more offensive, allowing you to win grind battles, but you need to protect them from flanking and missiles. Thessalian Spear Militia is fast flanker that is bad at dueling other flankers or chargers, so combine them with your cavalry or chariots. They are also good at reaching walls in sieges and I would use them as a backdoor commando. Alternatively we can use Slice Forcement from Fochtower, which is a standard flanker unit that you already know. Thessalian pikemen have better armor and weapon than previous version and they are going to carry you through the mid game. Thessalian spearmen look like shielded frontline, but they should be used as flankers. They will greatly support your cavalry and chariots, or act like backdoor commando. You can protect your other units thanks to their shield and mobility. Thessalian marines are the same unit from the Achilles roster. You can do some ambush tactics thanks to stalk ability and they will synergize well with Thessalian spearmen. Companions of Protesilaos is your elite unit that is the best for exploiting gaps in frontline battles as they will use flanking bonus to quickly grind opponents. You should do a lot of flanking with this roster because of the lack of armor piercing units. And now the best pikes in the game. Thessalian royal pikemen are very strong frontline, they have higher bonus versus infantry, better armor and stats. Look at how cool they are. And now let's review missiles. We are starting with good cheap Achaean slingers and not so good standard bowmen. Next we have skirmishers that are very good armor piercing unit and you already know them from my CNE roster. In mid game we can use renowned slings to delete enemy archers so our pikemen will be safe. And also we have armored version which can compete with elite missiles as well. Another standard and good unit is chariots, very popular for steamrolling mid game battles. As a viable alternative you should try Thessalian light chariots. They have both spearmen and skirmisher on each chariot, so they are going to be good at melee while being able to skirmish and ruin enemy formation. Thessalian lancers are amazing cavalry with turbo button, but don't use it too recklessly. The ability is the best for clearing out routed units. Thessalian chariots also have javelin skirmisher on each model, so you will be able to deal damage while you deal damage. As other melee chariots, these horses are good at running over infantry that is not too heavy. For heavy duty and strong opponents we have Thessalian heavy chariots, ideal for late game and competitive battles. As you can see we have bonus javelin guy on each model. We also have elite cavalry known as Thessalian royal lancers. It is strong against chariots and other cavalry while being perfect for maneuvering. You are going to have a lot of fun with this unit. The first and last missile chariots in this roster is standard skirmish chariots because Thessalian ones are in melee category. These standard ones do terribly in melee so use them as pure skirmisher or consider next unit. Thessalian riders are deadly skirmish cavalry, they will kite and demolish enemy chariots very easily. Be sure to avoid missile fire as they are quite squishy. You can use them since mid game and they will be very good in multiplayer battles too. That is the last unit in the roster and now you are ready to try them out. For army composition I recommend bringing a line of slingers and line of pikemen and you can have cavalry or chariots on both sides of your front line. This is also balanced for multiplayer battles so you can have fun with your friends. That is all and see you later.